kids. Woof, a little mouthful there. It is. She joins us. Boy, we're all excited because there's all kinds of things you can do with wool. Before we continue on, we were talking about the different wool types. You have some classes for those who are interested, and I let's do. go ahead and say what they are. Well, the exciting thing is, is I've been teaching classes since I opened. I've been teaching classes for a long time. Um, but what's really kind of scary and exciting all at the same time is I'm now going online and teaching online classes because I have such a long waiting list and a lot of people from a distance wanting to take classes. So that's exciting to me and you can get at it on the web page which you'll have that information. Where will your classes be? They will be at Clearwater, Nebraska. Okay. <laughs> or online. Or online. So you can reach me anywhere you want. I, I just wanted to show you some of my students. This I love, this is felting, and this is where you just take wool that's like this, dye it, and these are my five-year-olds. I have some five-year-old children, that, little girls, that this is their felt. They made that fabric, and they're very proud of themselves. Well, they this should, is yeah, because Peggy and I are like, how do you do that? Yeah, it, well, we're going to show, I'm going to show you that. Okay. One of the segments will be about felting. This is the Icelandic. This is another one of my students. It's actually her sheep. This is spinning. This is uh, beginner spinning that they just wow. learned in the last month. This is all from the Icelandic sheep. This is uh, my own uh, work and spinning. Um, I have everything and we'll be carrying on and picking up some of these items. I have everything from flax that's grown in Nebraska that we'll be learning about, um, Angora, you name it. So we have a lot of that. Wow. Um, I also brought today just, and his little hat just wants to keep falling off, a couple of uh, Christmas items because you talked about that. I love that. So this my children sheep. used to make these sheep <laughs> to uh, hang on Christmas trees and give away, but he needed a little hat and a scarf. And the other thing that I did for today was a wine bottle. Everybody takes wine bottles, and this came from somebody having conversation about giving away Christmas. And I thought rather than a bag or a bow, just knit a little hat. This is my hand spun. Yeah, just knit a little it. scarf. Just whip it up. <laughs> and if not, these patterns will be you on whip my... You that up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no big deal. <laughs> right. I so it. I think white for white wine, showing white wine. Red, but the sheep really wanted the I love hat. the sheep. Isn't I he really cute? do. Isn't he soft? I love so him. So this can be done with wool that you haven't He's even spun. I wanted it so you could just take wool like that and do something with it and it's just wrap around it. And that will be on and is on my web page, so you can get the, the pattern. pattern. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Let's Free talk download. about this here. This is silk. Okay. I love spinning silk. And so this is all my hand-dyed silk wool. Uh, there's all different kinds of things. And so this is a tea cozy. It's I like a Monet it. garden. So, yeah, all from hand spun. So you can do great, amazing things. Can this we look is, at that dress, too? Yeah, this actually is um, wool that comes from the Brown Sheep Company here in Nebraska. And they are really supportive of Nebraska farmers. Okay. And so they're the, where they take the wool and process it and spin it. And so this dress is made from Brown Sheep Company wool. Oh, I like yeah, it. Yeah, isn't that great? Mm -hmm. And then the little, same like with the little. It's a baptismal dress almost. It's it is. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, isn't it great? Yeah. What is the, the rarest uh, form of the color of wool? I know, isn't there like a red or something that's There is rare? like a cinnamon color, yes. almost rusty. Um, this is actually, you were asking him about wow. alpaca. This is alpaca yeah. and this is a llama. A lot of people are doing that now too, right? Yes, it's becoming really big, so it's My it's mom's fun. begun to do this. She's no, nowhere really near your level, but 40 years. I know that she's done a few simple things in yeah. a few years, so you're saying with these classes you can at least begin to do Absolutely. some of these things. Absolutely. These, uh, like I said, this is a beginner class. She actually just, this is her first spinning. Wow. So wow. It's, and she was convinced she was not going to be able to do it, but she is. I said, yes, you are. And these are all they've learned within the last month Very from taking beautiful. the classes. So I they like learn it. how to, where we take the wool right off the sheep and process and it process and how to it. sort it and all of that's part of more the class. More with Lee. You'll have to stay tuned and watch as she comes. and More series there. And all of her information for her store and class information on our website, Nebraska.tv. Click on that NTV's Good Life tab. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Right after the break, some floral arrangements from Carney Floral. Stay with us.